When it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, there really is no shortage of amazing dragon monsters. As for this video though, the only dragon we're interested in is Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. I knew I wanted to build a Gandora deck the second I rewatched the Dark Side of Dimensions movie and watched Yu-Gi summon Gandora Cross, the Dragon of Demo and it's banned. Yeah, it, it's banned in Master Duel. It, it was too good. But that's fine because we still have two, count them, two other cards in this Gandora archetype. With the main boss of this deck being Giga Ray's Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction, which requires us to have three different Gandoras in the graveyard to activate his effect. And now that one of them's banned, there's only two possible targets. You know what? It's still fine. He's still that good of a card. And hopefully we get the chance to prove that in today's duels as we take the Gandora deck into some online ranked matches. If you like these videos and want to see more, definitely make sure to the like button and subscribe. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the duels. And now it is time for the first duel with Gandora. And I'm already off to a bad start with the coin toss. Not that it really matters. I don't really have a particular uh, going first or second because uh, I don't know the deck that well. <laughs> oh, brother. I don't know what it is about this background, dude, but people, people that play with this background actually scare me. Anyway, this is quite a hand. I don't know if I even want to use this. I think I want to go with the old, you know what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go with a little bit of a trade in and I'm going to send Gizmek, which is perfectly fine because we can get Gizmek back from the graveyard anyway. So this might just be a free plus two. Oh, we love to see that. Then I'm going to pot of desires just to get some banishing going. And no, I'm not going to Gizmek just yet. And then there, mm, there's Gandora. There's Gandora. We already got him, dude. Oh my God. All right. So I'm just going to set. I'm going to set two. I'm going to set two and use Gizmek to banish. Oh, the, the plays here, dude. Look at the cards that are already banished. The deck is so thin. And now that we have Giga Ray's Gandora, we can just wait it out. Just wait it out. No, I can't laugh yet. All we have to do is hope that Giga Rays is enough to get over everything. What is this? Okay, so it is a Cyber Dragon play. I don't know if we live here. I I, I, I knew this guy was Cyber Dragons the way he clicked going second, bro. I knew there was a tinge, just a tinge of Cyber Dragon on that, bro. There was a tinge of Cyber Dragon play there. Do we live against Cyber Dragons? I actually have no idea how this deck works. I, I watch it, but whenever, whenever somebody plays Cyber Dragons, my eyes glaze over and I just wait to die. Wait, can he get the Omni Negate here? Because that would be really bad for me. Oh, brother, here comes the Cyberload Fusion. I literally have no clue if we're still alive. I can get Gizmek back as long as he doesn't banish it for whatever reason. Cyber Twin Dragon. Is this correct? Am, am I? Wait, am I supposed to be afraid? I don't think I have to be afraid. I think we live in. I think we live in, boys. We out here. We live in our best lives. This is just Necroface, which hopefully will draw so release and we'll be able to banish Necroface anyway. Necroface is just here to help fuel Gandora. <laughs> yeah, go mate face two then. Yeah, yeah. But let me get, let me get Gizmek back real quick. Ooh, I am thinning the deck out. This deck is looking mighty thin. What the, yo, what's your diet plan looking like, deck? Damn. Hold on. Dude, there's soul release. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to just, I'm trying to see if this is stupid. <laughs> wait, hold on. Is this dumb? This may in fact be dumb, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to bring forth Gandora by tributing my first Gandora and then also getting rid of Necroface. I can bring forth Gandora Giga Rays with already 7,800 attack, but that's not all. I'm also going to activate its ability to destroy all other cards on the field. And then I'll play the spell card Soul Release. And I can target any cards in our graveyard. For you, I'm going to just get rid of all the annoying ones, I think. Get rid of them. I'm also going to banish Necroface. <laughs> and by banishing my own Necroface, I'll banish even more of our deck to the graveyard. I don't know if this decks me out. Hopefully not. As a Cyber Dragon player yourself, you should have seen this outcome coming. Gandora, attack! Boom! Oh my god, that is... <laughs> Bro, bro, that's a that was sick, bro. Gandora is so cool. I love Gandora, bro. This oh, Gandora is so cool. Are you kidding me, bro? That was the perfect first duel. What? Mm, not the best hand I've ever seen in my life. So we're just gonna go with a quick pot of extravagance. If this gets negated, that's okay with me. I just want the extra draws. We'd like to see a Gizmek here. We do see a Gizmek, but I don't want to summon Gandora right now. Should I leave myself open to it? Wait. Oh, I can just special summon this for my hand? I'm going to do that then. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, why not get a little bit of protection here? <laughs> just play Gizmek. All right, then we just pass because I just want to play with Gandora Giga Ray. Sadly, and let me know down below in the comments. I know it's the same monster, right? But Giga Ray's Gandora does not look as cool as Gandora the Dragon of Destruction. I know they're the same monster, but look at these blades, dude. What the? Oh, Gandora Giga Ray's, he kind of hiding the blades, bro. Like, you gotta, come on, bro. 
do better. Oh, brother, another Cyber Dragon player. What is going on? So it's just OTKville out here, huh? Well, you're severely underestimating me. I, I hope you know that, bro. I've OTKed another Cyber Dragon player in my past. Wait, that's your battle phase. That's your battle phase? I don't know why the Gandora deck has me talking like a villain right now. I, it's, I think it's just because I'm going up against other OTK. <laughs> you call that a battle phase? <laughs> if you ain't doing at least 10,000 damage, I don't even want to talk, dude. Monster Rebo- my Gizmek! He's trying to rob my Gizmek! I won't let you! I won't let you take him! <laughs> run, Gizmek! Run! Don't let him get you! Yeah, get your grubby little hands off my Gizmek, bro! Nah, they not, that ain't how- He's trying to stay- <laughs> Bro, this man really tried to finesse my shit! <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me! <laughs> bro, get your hands off my Gizmek! Please let me draw Necroface! Necroface! Please! Eater of Million- mm actually not too bad i'm not going to lie because you know what eater of millions allows us to do i'm able to banish cards from my extra deck so i'll banish all these important cards i took like brachial radius uh real big stuff so i'll get rid of brachio i'll get rid of dark paladin all very playable cards by the way very important that if you want to run this deck you do have to copy my extra deck list one to one uh i always carry a link karibo god damn i gotta i'd be banishing shit god damn wait how many cards does how many cards are you asking for man what does eater of millions do five or more more cards from your hand field or extra deck this man is eating eating bro you're good you're like honestly you're good that guy that guy can eat dude then i'm gonna lure of darkness because i think it's time we start going for the play here Ooh. all right well i'm gonna get rid of hmm but do i i think i do actually is that crazy to say how many cards are banished oh my god i do i win i might win bro hold on let's win the game here for wait 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 this could be the <gasps> I have to trust my gut on this one. I'm going to get rid of Gizmek. I have to trust my gut on this one. Oh, no, I can't normal summon Gandora. He can't be special summon. Wait, I could still Pot of Desires? Oh, I'm going to do that then. Damn. <laughs> this is a very dangerous play. I'm, I'm pushing myself to the edge here. Okay, now it's time, bro. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of a couple Gandoras here. I don't need that many Gandoras. And then I'll summon Giga Ray's Gandor. Damn. And then I'm going to activate his effect. Just destroy everything. Oh, my God. And then I'll play Gren Maju. Damn! <laughs> oh my god. Too bad to say that. No! <laughs> god damn! This deck kind of toxic. Wait, wait a minute. Damn! Bro, I don't even know if I want to go first or second. I guess I'll just go first. God damn. This deck is so much fun. Ooh. All right, so I'm going to. Do I activate Chaos Zone? I think I am going to just activate Chaos Zone. Why not, right? Yeah, I knew activating Chaos Zone was the big brain play there. That was just a genius maneuver on my part. Let's go ahead and get into the next one. Another duel, another opening hand, and we got Dimensional Fissure. We do have to be careful, though. Dimensional Fissure is a good card, but it will stop us from actually being able to summon, um, you know, our boss monster, <laughs> Gandora, because you need to be able to send them to the graveyard. Perform a pal, eh? Perform a pal, eh? Well, here's the deal. I'm going to go ahead and slam my Gizmek down frame one. Don't mind me. Yeah, we just slamming the old Gizmek down. Did I banish any Gandoras. Oof. Oof. Not the best banishes I've ever seen, but what's important is we're just thinning the deck. The pendulum scales have been set with Wisdom Eye Magician and Performa Pal Pendulum, and they're gone. Hey, bro, I look... Wait, hold on, hold on, bro. Sorry, I know I was distracted. I looked down and looked back up. What the fuck happened to the field? I, <laughs> I looked down and looked back up and... <laughs> I'm not even joking, but I don't know how the video is going to be edited. I hope you guys see what I saw. Because I, I looked away after... What What did I say? I was like, the magician was like, and he's gone. I looked down at my phone for one second, bro. I, I ain't going to lie. I was playing a quick iPhone mini game. But then I look up and, bro, what happened, bro? Harmonizing magicians out here. Performer Pal Celestial. Wisdomized back. Back. Oh, he's back. Hey, what up, dude? This guy playing magician and shit. And now he ain't playing at all. Never mind. He's link summoning. Oh, brother. This guy links. Heavy metal. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm getting magicianed on. Pendulum magicians are in full force today. And I don't know if I can actually beat them. What I need to do is I need to draw Gandora. <laughs> yeah, my plan has not changed at all. <laughs> this deck is so... I literally... I do not look at what my opponent is doing at all. That is crazy. I mean, I guess I could also just slam down Grenmaju. Oh, autograph sorcerer. <laughs> I, I, I did... I did not say autograph on purpose, but I will call him autograph sorcerer uh, intentionally now. Bro, this guy famous, bro. Let me get that autograph. I'm not really too worried here. In fact, I might even be able to... Ooh, I'm not going to be targeting anything, dude. I'm not targeting anything. Do you have any negates here? Mm hmm. 
It's still, I just realized it's still turn one, because I, I definitely played Gizmek on his turn, but that was, it is, it has not been my turn yet. But I do deserve this. I did take his turn rudely. God, the Supreme King and the Heavy Metals is such a cool combo. I actually did look up this deck, because I was like, let me, let me force feed myself some Pendulum knowledge. So I do sort of get what he's going for here. He's just kind of recycling Heavy Metal Foe's effect to once again bring out Autograph Magician. Yep, there he is. Autograph, I call him Autograph Magician. It's not even, it's not even Astrograph Magician. Magician, it's Astrograph Sorcerer. What up, Autograph Magician? For the rest of this video, this dude's name is subject to change. Oh, brother, another Supreme King. He's he's Link. He's being a genius. He's he's playing. Uh, he's good. He knows every aspect of this game. He's good. He knows everything about the Link loops. He's good. He knows every aspect of summoning Astrograph Sorcerer. What did my attack it have? <laughs> I just realized that happened. Oh, brother, he can negate a spell card once per turn, which is not terrible. I can just swing over that, can I? <laughs> yeah. Actually, he might be able to negate me, but he can't even... <gasps> There's no cards in the graveyard yet. <laughs> even if he negates me, the cost will still go off. But should I try to bait him with Dimensional Fissure? Because there really isn't a reason for me to... Ah, uh, he won't take the bait. Uh, we just have to banish. We're going banishing, boys. Yeah, negate me now, dude. N do what you must. I've already... I've already done what I came here to do. There he goes. There he goes, fellas. That's fine by me. I completely understand. All right, I'm going to summon Eater of Millions and get rid of my extra deck again. Don't mind me just getting rid of the old extra deck. <laughs> and I also am going to get rid of Soul Release because I don't think we'll be using it, and it's just a little more attack. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Right, that's it. Goodbye, Soul Release. The summon Eater of Millions. Nice. Max C, huh? Well, I won't be doing any of that. <laughs> I won't be doing any of that. Uh, anyway, it's time to start doing some attack mode calculations. Let's see. Can you survive this? Oh, is the answer no? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you want me to hit you instead? That's no problem. <laughs> That's no problem. I'll go ahead and hit you instead. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know. This deck is toxic. <laughs> oh, my God. Gandora. Except Gandora didn't even play the game that time. Oh, bro. What is this? I, bro, put him up then, bro. If you want to fight so bad, bro, put him up. Mm, mm, mm. Now, this right here is a hand, folks. This right here is a hand. I'm going to activate Pot of Extravagance. Uh, and then I'll just get six cards banished from my extra deck. No big deal. We might have to activate uh, Gizmek here, uh, which we will do. We will do that uh, just to get a bit of safety here. And then I think, honestly, that we're probably going to leave it at that. I could also play Necroface, but let me see what I banished real quick. Allure of Darkness, Allure of Darkness. All right, so we should just play Necroface face down. We'll play Necroface face down and we'll end our turn. That's where we'll leave it. I ain't gonna lie. This might just be a Gandora kind of day. Hold on. It might just be Gandora's big day in the sun, dude. Maybe Gandora, a Gillian Rays or whatever his name is, isn't the answer. Oh, don't don't play cards, brother. Don't play cards, brother, because Gandora does not care. Don't do it. I'm trying to save you. Gandora does not care. End phase, huh? End phase. Very, very interesting. But what would you say if I dropped another big mill on your head, huh? What would you say if I just milled out even more? Boom. Now it's my turn. Oh, another Performer Pal pop-up. But what would you say if I drew even more cards using Pot of Desire? And now I've drawn my monster card. <laughs> but first, actually, hold on. Let me be cool about this. First, I'm going to bring forth the one and only. Wait, no, I can't banish this guy yet. So I'll just do... No, please! Please! I was going to get both Gandoras out. It was going to be so cool. Why? Why? Ooh, a pop of greed icon. Nice. I like that. Ooh, this is good. This is good. Okay. All right. We're going to save extravagance for next turn, obviously. Ooh, he's reinforcement of the arming. Ar ar arming? <laughs> he's reinforcement of the army already. So what's he going to get from this deck here? This will tell us a lot about what he's playing. For some reason, I'm thinking E-Heroes. I'm looking at this guy. He's screaming E-Heroes to me. He's just got the Jaden energy. I feel like he's going to beat my ass and say that's game. So, uh, you know, go ahead. He's going to say, not bad, Sai. Go ahead, bro. What do you have for me in your deck? That's so scary. Gandor. God, this deck is way more fun than I thought it would be. Oh my god. Ooh, Phantom Knights. Okay, and some Phantom Knights. That is actually gonna make it a little more difficult for me because now I'm going to have to banish his stuff. It's going to be pretty difficult, actually. All right, so he sent Fogblade to the graveyard, really. All right, but he's also sending another a different one to the graveyard. That's that's okay. He's gonna be able to negate my effect here, which is gonna be pretty huge, actually. He's gonna banish Fogblade to bring out the main man. Probably going to go into an exceed play for the rank three Phantom. Knights. 
The one on the horse. I can't remember its name. There he goes. Wait, he's linking? He's linking. Is it a link monster? Who in the... What? Cherubini. Monsters this card points to cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh, no. Wait, that's very bad for me. Oh, okay. Never mind. There he is. There's the old... There's a Phantom Knights. Damn, I'm gonna have to finish this duel in one turn. I don't even know what's happening. Target one face upon the monster. Feel it gains 500. Also, the first time the target would be destroyed by battle or card effect, it is not. Hmm... Hmm, okay, okay. So that's not really a negate on me, but it is going to stop me. Okay, pretty pretty powerful first turn from him here. He's, this card's not pointing to anything, so that's fine. I don't mind that. That's probably a fog blade face down, which is probably the worst thing that it could be. A Gandora play would be sick, but I have no ways to summon Gandora turn one. That is not the strength. Summoning Gandora for the normal Gandora is just not the strength of this deck. <laughs> yeah. Gandora does not make many appearances. But when he does, it's really cool. Like, he's actually pretty helpful, but yeah, not this time. But he is nice trading bait. Raider's Knight. Oh, wait. He has, he's going to destroy a card. Oh, you can target one card. He probably won't activate it then. <laughs> there he goes. Arc Rebellion exceeds. What's this guy do? Oh, so now he's going to negate all of my effects flat out. This is this might be a loss just based on this. I don't know if I could get over that, <laughs> especially without my effects. Mm, yeah, there's really nothing I have that would be able to get over this. I don't have any spot removal. In fact, this entire deck is just about hitting them really hard with Gandora. I could try. Maybe I should run like a little bit of a you know, a little Santy Claus in the deck. You know, some maybe a Kaiju or two wouldn't hurt just in case I drew into them. Oof. This is looking like a loss. Oh, yeah. there. Oh, there's at least one Fog Blade down and there's probably two. <laughs> Damn, this is looking like a loss. Hey, Gandora. Alright, so let's just, let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this. Let's pot of Desires first. Let's see if we even have a chance here. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. In fact, I'm pretty sure we don't. I'm gonna trade in my Gandora. This is huge. Oh my god, dude, he's killing me. I've got to banish my Gandora. <laughs> All right, I'll banish one of my Gandoras. Maybe I should have kept that, honestly. I'm going to Lure of Darkness again, and I'll banish probably... He'll negate the effect anyway. But I have to banish this guy. Each card in my hand. Okay, so how much would I take for this? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I take 6,000 damage. It's a risk I have to take. Hopefully all my Gandoras aren't in the graveyard. Uh, I have to get rid of you and you. And honestly, I think that's all I can get rid of. Because I need at least... Yeah. I need at least two. So I'm going to take 7,000 here. Or no, 6,000 again. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Wait, no, no. I still don't think this works, but we're going to try it. I mean, we lose anyway if this doesn't work. Oh, it's got 5,000. Fog blade. Understandable. We knew this would happen. Wait. Oh, I, damn, the cost still hits. All right, well, hold on. Because I always keep, I always keep two around, baby. I always keep two around. Don't fog. Oh. Damn! Damn! I always kept through around, but it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, dude. Uh, I don't even know who to go after here. It really doesn't matter. Damn, dude. If Gandora... If I had gotten through, I could have done it, but I, I messed up. I messed up too many times. The double fog blade got me. Also, did I just read this wrong? I, I, I don't know why that card didn't negate my effects. So I, I was really scared for nothing, I think, but still a good duel. We, we just lost it. Now let's go into the final duel. I actually have no idea how long this video is is like obviously i can look over and i can see that i've been recording for like 30 minutes but i don't know <laughs> i don't know what that relates to in terms of usable footage because the duels have been fast and furious with this deck there not a lot going on that was the most intricate one so far i think but we still misplayed this time though i'm gonna I'm take things my own pace Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. say less dude really just say less chaos zone do i even need chaos zone in this deck honestly i don't think i do i might just be better off running something else oh zero Zodiacs. Oh, brother. You know what would be sick, though? Yeah. <laughs> I just need to... I need to get Necroface, dude. Necroface is such a good engine of this deck. The insane... Also, he banished 10 cards, by the way. Woo! He doesn't, he doesn't know that I'm playing Gandora. End phase. Okay. Hey, bro, it's your funeral, bro. Draw. And there he, and there he is, folks. That's it. We just potted desires here and win. We just potted desires and win. Actually, wait, I do need to, I actually need to draw Gandora here. I forgot that, I forgot that part of the win condition is having Gandora in my, <gasps> no, you know what? That's fine. You, you know what? That, that is absolutely a okay. We're totally cool with that. Um, really does not matter to me because I'll just perform a pal popper up. I'll just get my pops going, bro. Is Gandora in my graveyard? <gasps> Gandora is in my banish zone. Wait. Because that could be... He All right, hold on. <laughs> yeah. 
Hold on, let me let me play a different way, bro. Let me play a bit of a different way. I'll activate the effect of Chaos Zone, which allows me to get a counter each time a card is banished. And then I'm going to use Eater of Millions to go ahead and bump that counter up. And as I'm doing that, this is where the big brain plays start happening, folks. Nice, Eater of Millions sitting at a solid 3,500, but that's not really what we're going for. And then I did not get any Chaos Zone stacks. <laughs> Well, I made a minor miscalculation. I made a minor miscalculation. That did not work. I will tell you what, that did not work. I could play Gandora right now. It just it just wouldn't it just wouldn't do anything because I don't have Gandora in my graveyard. But it's still probably good enough, right? Just having the attack is good enough. What what do we think here? I don't know. Is it good enough? I guess I could see. Like it, it doesn't hurt to see. Actually, what am I what am I sweating about, bro? There's no way he could stop me, right? I'm sure there's no way he could stop me. But why would would he play such a weak hand why would he play such a weak hand it doesn't make sense it really doesn't make sense but i'm going to overplay my boundaries anyway let's go bro i'm going to step over the line and summon gandora yeah i'm going for the otk buddy can you stop me he can definitely stop me i overplayed my hand and i understand that truthfully i do nope <laughs> damn damn my god <laughs> truthfully there is just no thing as overstepping boundaries when you're playing Gandora. It's just, just play Gandora. It's that simple. Damn, this deck was fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Gandora, let me know. Cause I, I don't know. I know this deck is a little one note, but that was a lot of fun. If you did enjoy it, let me know down below what other kind of decks you'd like to see while you're down there. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and check out some of the other videos that should be on your screen right now. Other than that, I've been Dada Doya and I will see you in the next one.